hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is uju and this is uju's kitchen today we are making jello fries what comes to your mind when you hear jello fries if you are looking to get that perfect smoky jello fries effect without burning your food then this video is for you i'm going to drizzle some oil on my fresh tomato my paprika onion scotch bonnet pepper my ginger and garlic in a non-stick pan you can do this in an oven if you want but this is another method that will give you the same result so you can try any of those two okay pour your mix in a non-stick pot and roast on a low heat make sure you roast on a low heat see the way i'm emphasizing on this low heat so that it doesn't burn no okay i'm using goat's meat for this recipe because of the peculiar taste and flavor it gives to my jello fries you can use any protein of your choice okay it doesn't matter all right i added my chopped onion my salt curry powder thyme seasoning cube and i'm going to cover it and let it steam for about six minutes all right then i'm going to come back and stay so that the whole ingredients will mix properly all right after which you can after which you can cover it to steam more as just to generate more stock for you okay then i will come back to add some water to the meat stock because the meat stock will add to the flavor of this jello fries but if you don't have meat stock no problem while the meat is cooking i'm going to blend the roasted pepper mix until it is very very smooth you can see how my own is look at how beautiful it is right okay trust me if you try this method it will definitely give your jello fries that smoky effect you really want sometimes you even burn your jello fries just trying to achieve this but don't worry your time has come i'm going to fry the goat meat until it is brown then i'll set it aside okay if this is your first time on my channel I want to thank you so much for clicking to watch my video but please don't forget to subscribe like and share before you leave okay thank you and for my returning subscribers you guys rock thank you for coming back to watch my video i love you in another pot i'm going to pour the same oil i use in frying my goat's meat let it heat up then fry my onion until it is fragrant before before i add in my fresh um, my fresh rosemary you can get any of these herbs at any supermarket of your choice all right it's not really hard to get okay then i will add my tomato paste and fry until it is okay you know it's okay when it no longer has a, that sour taste okay that bitter taste all right and don't forget to stir from time to time and fry on a low heat I always emphasize on this low heat okay so that your food will not start burning on time okay and then when i fry on low heat i make sure i go time on time just to check it and then after a while i'll add my blended pepper mix i already cooked my blended pepper mix before frying it so it's not going to it's not really going to take time again just to fry i'll just um, fry it a little bit okay and i'll also add some water to the jar to help get the pepper mix out of the jar completely no waste in my dictionary okay stay it together while it's cooking on a low heat stay it from time to time to avoid burning if this would burn not only you go chop <laughs> up then i'll go ahead and season with my curry powder paprika seasoning cube i'll just put everything together and pour it and stay it stay everything together until it's well incorporated oh my god then if you enter my kitchen right now the aroma you get in my kitchen jesus christ it's just nose blinding okay when it's well cooked i will scoop out some of the sauce because i'll be using it towards the end of the cooking it will give it that taste there is this there is this color it will give to our don't worry you'll get to see it all right i'll just keep it out afterwards i will i'll add my my already powdered rice 
i did this off camera because i don't want my video to you know to be that long so i just did it off camera all right make sure you stir everything together just make sure everything incorporates and you can now add your you can now add your your meat stock at this point okay and then you can season with salt or seasoning cube if necessary mine needed um a little bit of salt so i just seasoned it for in my my meat stock and added some water to it and then the amount of water you use in your jollof rice is really really important so when adding water especially when you parboil, parboil your rice make sure you're very careful don't put in so much water and always um cook on a low heat especially when it's yellow fries cook in a low heat okay 15 minutes later this is what we have okay i'm going to stir this very well make sure you stir this very well and then i'm going to cover it with my I'm going to cover this with my parchment paper all right this process is to trap this this thing to cook the rice okay you can also use your foil if you don't have this um, parchment paper all right if you are still watching please subscribe to my page like share and turn on the notification bell just for other videos like this all right if you haven't done that then 20 minutes later i checked on my rice and it is well cooked i'm going to remove the parchment paper and stay can you see how the color is beautiful right okay and lastly um, i like to add in some nicely chopped spring onion and carrots so that it doesn't look like we are eating only carbohydrates i remember the the um the sauce we scooped out we are going to take some some of them in and this is what we have isn't it beautiful not just beautiful it tastes really really good and remember our goat meat yes so our jollof rice is done this is what we have you can serve and enjoy with your family and make sure you try this recipe do it you're gonna like it thank you for watching and um, see you in my next video Bye-bye.